Hello, this is my second instructional audio video, audio, yeah, audio video on how to feminize the voice. Okay, I know it's been a while, about three weeks since I've done one of these, so this is only the second one, so, yeah. But, even though it's been three weeks, I have a lot of tips that I've learned and a lot of stuff that have helped me to better get the voice that I want, you know? And I think I'll start off with the first one. And it's phlegm. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. But it's phlegm. And phlegm is basically a build up of dead white blood cells in your lungs that come that come out in order that need they need to come out in order for you to breathe properly. When you're doing the heavy breathing and it feels like you have blockage, like <clears throat> that's phlegm and it can come out in huge chunks or it can come out in little bitty particles every now and then. Out of the way, you don't even want the little particles. Because <clears throat> the little particles are dancing on your vocal cords and you don't want that. It, it'll make you sound raspy and shit. So you don't, <laughs> and stuff. So you don't want that, okay? Okay, and I searched online and found some ways on how to get rid of them. And these, these tips have been successful for me, so here they are. First of all, you need to stop eating dairy foods, like milk, cheese, ice cream, etc. They cause phlegm. Look up other phlegm causes on the internet if you want, like, uh, specifics on what you should and should not eat or do to cause more phlegm. Coughing up phlegm is natural. When you cough it up, it's your body's way of telling you to discard it out of your system. And this is not me just being bullshitting around. This is me actually reading for days on the internet and studying this stuff, you know. <laughs> studying it to make sure that I know what I'm doing. Because remember, I'm still working on my voice. So, okay, here's a fun fact about them. Do you know how Chinese men and women have higher pitched voices to help them speak the Chinese language? Like, ni hao, ni hao. They're able to do this with ease because it's natural for them to spit out their phlegm and the mucus instead of swallowing it like we do. Like we swallow our eyes, we will fill the phlegm. Probably mix it around a little in our mouth to dilute it and then we'll swallow it back again. But the Chinese people, they don't really swallow it. even have like some old wife tell or something like, if you swallow phlegm, worms are going to grow up inside of you or something like that. So they spit out phlegm everywhere. They spit, it, they spit everywhere in general. Walking on the street after dinner, they spread a lot. And they they are known for doing this, you know? This is what they are known for doing. I believe that's why their language is so pitch dependent. Like, I'm studying Japanese, and I read across a couple of Chinese facts and stuff. The Chinese language is really pitch dependent. But, you know, the Japanese are not all about the spitting thing because their language is not that pitch dependent. But the Chinese, yeah, it's a culture thing for them to spit the flam out. And in a result of that, the language is pitch dependent. So, yeah. Just wanted to say that. <laughs> and yeah, I am studying Japanese. I've been studying for about two years. Almost as long as I've been doing this. Alright, the goal is to get rid of phlegm. The goal to get rid of phlegm is to loosen it up. You have to loosen up the phlegm. How do you do this? You start by... Um, let's see. How do you loosen up the phlegm? Alright, let's see. This is what I've done this, to successfully loosen up the phlegm to give me like a higher head voice. And you can do this to help you breathe in any kind of voice. Take a hot shower every day and focus on breathing out the phlegm so you can breathe it there. You're taking a hot shower and you feel the steams and the vapors. You just want to breathe those in. <clears throat> Do that throughout the entire shower and then take an additional five minutes once you're done bathing yourself. Take an additional five minutes and just inhale the vapors. And trust me, this will help. Alright, let's see. Um... <clears throat> Now, since about a year ago, I decided to ward off coffee because it's known to cause problems with lungs and is a phlegm causer. But today, I read something about coffee and caffeine in general, to helping to open up bronchial passages to make them breathe, to make breathing easier for those who are wheezing. And that's exactly what we are doing when we are trying to breathe in our voices. 
super wheezy. We're like, <laughs> like we're having an asthma attack, but we're not. Because <laughs> we can always just revert back to our normal or natural or comfortable breathing spot. <sighs> but yeah, this is wheezing. So coffee actually is not a bad choice on what to do to help you open up the bronchial waves. It's also used to help people who are having an asthma attack breathe easier. I know the sorts because I have asthma and I have drunk coffee since I was a, since I was little to help me help me breathe easier. Also, some pluses that I can say about coffee is that it helps you stay alert, kind of numbs the slight pain, that, and also numbs the slight pain that you feel when you're wheezing. And it allows you to continue on without having to take some kind of steroid like aspirin or anything else, Tylenol, which really numbs the, numbs your vocals. And you don't want that. You don't want to take something that's going to numb your vocals, okay? Don't take medicines. The worst thing about the after effects of opening the passages is the sinus and cold symptoms that follow afterwards. And right now I have a huge sinus slash cold or whatever I have right now problem. Or my nose is snotty and yeah, it's really bad and I hate this because you sneeze a lot and stuff. But it used to last for about a couple of days but afterwards, when it's over, you still get to keep the voice. So yeah, I'm good luck people and hope that this works out for you. As well as this worked out for me, so good luck to you. Do 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 babies. Bye.